Right guys, so just had breakfast. I'm just about to chill out for a bit. It is 10 a.m. here. We go over about half past 12. The show will start about half two, so yeah. First event is deadlift. Finally got the new uh, the new rain as well. So uh, gonna give this a bash in a wee while and see how it tastes, but uh, yeah. Thank you to Rain for delivering this to me. And uh, we're ready for the show, so guys, thank you for the support. Let's go, let's put the spicy Stoltman. I don't know where, but let's just do it. <laughs> Stay spicy. <laughs> a brief phone call, oh, missed video call. Hello, it's sunny over there. How are you getting on? Fine, I'm tired. Take a recording to you. Look at that. Everyone, everywhere we go, everybody knows. Jeez, oh, <laughs> I've got a headache now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can have, have fun training. I will give you a shout later. Right. See you guys. Love right. you. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love Bye. You. Bye. 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 Right. It's sunnier over there than it is here. It is it? Jeez. Right, guys. See you soon. Come on, you got it. <laughs> there we go. Extremely excited. Uh, Tom is definitely my favorite. I'm a little disappointed Luke's not going to be here this year, but I really think this is going to be Tom's year to get on this podium. So let's see what happens, but I'm going to be here every year to support him. So let's go. Yeah, Tom, Tom is proud. Other than when I started watching because of Eddie Hall, Tom is what really blew me up. And I started watching every event, every show because of Tom specifically. His story is incredible. You know, I have a coworker whose uh, son is autistic and I tell him all about Tom and I got him watching Tom. So. I'm just here to support. I'm really excited for it, man. Hey, Tom, uh, just want to wish you all the best for this weekend. I'm rooting for you, my man. Let's go. Get smashing it. Very good, excited. This is going to be an incredible contest. It's one of those deals where you look at it and you look at the lineup, and I think you can run it 10 weekends in a row and get 10 different responses all across the board, up and down. So this is definitely going to be one that I think people reference historically. as you were lifting this weight. I said to myself, this is unbelievable. I mean, how can anyone be that strong? I mean, it's fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's such an honor to be here. <laughs>
fights the world's strongest man, the Scottish Albatross, Tom Stoltman. Right guys, so day one done at the Arnold's, my best performing day at the Arnold's since I've been doing it. You know, um, when I kind of looked at the events and seen that like, you know, frame was the first day, it obviously, the deadlift and frame, I think people knew, knew like, my frame's never been that good. Last year, I completely bombed the Arnold's, I mean, I was a bit injured, wasn't going in good. Um, it all went downhill, but, um, you know, my game plan was to finish fifth and fifth and then to be about be fifth place, at least fifth place, at the worst sixth place going into the second day. I knew the second day I've got really good events. I, I know I can top three in every single event uh, to, uh, on the on the last final day. So that's, I wanted to get, get myself into a position that I could hit podium. Uh, at the worst podium, you know, obviously still win. But yeah, it started off good. Obviously opened at a 408 kilogram deadlift. Then I put a small open, a second place, which, uh, sorry, a second lift, which, you know, really did help me because um, like some people, I knew that half or Bobby and Mitchell were gonna pull, um, you know, bigger. And then last lift, I was gonna do like 418 or something, but uh, for me, it was just like, right, for me to even get another place, it was to do 424 kilograms, which would have then, uh, if I got it, just matched with Evan anyway. So I probably would have got, in all honesty, a, a less points because I would have split it with him. So yeah, it kind of, it worked out better. Um, no one got as high numbers as, we thought, I think, you know, a thousand pound, the only guy that was going to get that this this time was Halfor, and uh, he could have done that easily. He could have done like 480, whatever. But um, I think Halfor was the biggest favourite in the first event because everyone knows how good he is at deadlift. He's not really lost his deadlift since he's been out this board. He's been obviously doing powerlifting. Uh, so, yeah, he's had unbelievable raw strength. But I was very happy with that. The one that's been in my head the whole time was the frame. I got like a metre or so taken off because I dragged the last one, but I think I did it in, I did eight point seven metres, which ended up me being sixth place in that event, I think it was. So uh, that was a place below that I thought I would get, which uh, in my eyes is still very good, you know, beating four people and not coming last. I think if I had ended up coming like ninth or tenth in that event, my whole show would have just been downhill. Like the second day would have just been fighting for top five. But to end the day, fourth place, basically, I think it's joint fourth place or, and then Evans two points behind uh, in front of us. And then there's Mitchell and four, you know, I think, you have to look at it this way and like look like I think in Dead Any Stones my train's been going really good so it's just about getting the hook grip locked in and just uh, just running with it uh, walking with it and <laughs> not no no pain the good thing about this one as well for is if you do drop it you get another pick up so it's not like you just you drop it and it's actually done you can drop it shake off and get another one so that's kind of a good advantage obviously I've been doing a lot of hook grip work and it doesn't really bother me that kind of pain so I can just get locked in and get there. And then obviously, so this is where I think like half hour and stuff will lose a lot of points. I think, you know, if I can, if I can beat half hour and Evan and even Mitchell on the uh, Denny Stones, then I'm going to be in a really good place going into Axel Press. And Axel Press is Axel Press. And then, you know, we, I think we should, I hopefully should be <laughs> nothing going wrong, top two. And then the last event is, I mean, anyone can make mistakes in that. I think the first two implements are really easy to do. Obviously, the press and the load. But then after that, you've got that big stone, which is anyone's game, really. You know, I think one rep, two reps will win it. I think people were thinking, like, three, four, five reps people are going to get. But I honestly think that if someone loads that once, they're going to get top three, top four. If someone loads it twice, they'll win it. So um, not load it, but put it to their shoulder. So, yeah, it's all to play for. I think it's wide open in the top five i think denny stones and axel is going to be very very fun um and then we got that big last one to finish so i cannot wait to get started i'm going to munch my crisps and uh, yes see you soon we are going to go get food come join us <laughs> steak potatoes rice i wanted cheese sandwiches and i got a side of cheese sandwiches eh? so it's good buddy no Wow. 
så bange. Mm. Good in it. Oh, never asked us what we wanted to mistake. Right guys, day one finished. I was just in the hot tub. Now it's time to go to bed, chill out and get ready for day two. Stay spicy because it's going to be a spicy one. Let's go. Look at that big Tommy Stokeman. How are you feeling today, Tom? Hello, mate. I, Hello, Tom. How are you? I have you picked top 11 this weekend, mate. I think Thank you very do. much. Hopefully yeah. I can come 11th. Yeah, well, at least. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At yes, least. thank you very much. Spicy Stormin merch. Make sure you get on to stormingbrothers.com. Brothers. Yes. Well, get your merch. <laughs> Wish Tom luck. Thank Better you. Yet. Wish me luck. <laughs> Boo.